Hello again everybody, welcome to another edition of On the Range in the HNC Warthog. And it's a very simple, very short topic for today. It's actually plan B I had been planning on right now doing the BF-109 test flight series, but ran into a small issue with the kneeboard. It's a known issue that's being worked through. So it's on to this, and it is a discussion of how the aircraft steps between waypoints. I know, it's very, very exciting, right? But I think you'll find that it can be useful and it might answer a few questions that you've had as far as how do I make it stop automatically stepping through waypoints. Now, uh, demonstrate what I mean. I have steer point one uh, designated out here in front of me. I'm flying towards it right now. And what the aircraft does by default is once you fly over the steer point or waypoint, I'll use those terms interchangeably, although I am aware of the difference. When you fly over it, it automatically steps to the next one in sequence. Now, for me, that's not always what I want the thing to do. I like to have manual control, and I like to tell the aircraft when to step to the next steer point, because, like in this case, if I wanted to slew my targeting pod down here to the steer point, I can just simply go China hat aft long, and there we go, I'm stepped to it. Now, what always happens when I leave this in automatic mode, I end up overflying a target I'm trying to take out, and... I've got about a mile to go, but um, yeah, when I overfly it, it's going to step to the next steer point, and then all of a sudden, if I try to do that same trick, the China hat after long, to reacquire that target area, then all of a sudden, it's on a completely different steer point altogether, and it just really bothers me. <laughs> it bugs me to no end when that happens. And you just saw it step to steer point two, which is uh, 13 miles out, and now you see the targeting pod is now looking out there at steer point two. So, what I can do to keep that from happening and to take con total control of how and when the steer point steps is I can come out down here to my CDU. I'll try to get over here to make this presentable. Okay, but... Okay, that'll work. So on the CDU, I have an option here if I go to the other selection on the page dial and I select the flight path menu or flight plan menu, now I have this selection. Right now it's set to auto, I depress the button, and now it's set to manual. So that was other on the dial, and then depress flight plan, or FPN for flight plan menu, and then depress this button to cycle between auto and manual. Now I have total control over it. Now when I fly over the steer point, it's not going to step to the next steer point until I tell it to. So if I wanted to bring it back to steer point one, now when I unmask my pod, I've got it right there. So I'll have that as a reference that I can go back to readily, and I do that a lot during missions. So I hope you did find that useful. It's just one of those little off-the-wall tidbits that I do all the time, and I was always I was curious for a long time how you actually did that, so hopefully that does help you out. So just to make this uh, worth your while, if you stick around through this topic, let me go ahead and just fire something at random. I'll just fire an AGM-65 out there on this side, just to... I always like to blow something up during these uh, these videos. Okay, so I've got the steer point. Let me go ahead and slave it on over. And let's see if we can lock this target up. I've never actually tried locking up one of the... Uh, maybe I have in the past. Okay, so let me go narrow field of view. Me. Okay, now let me go narrow field of view. Command lock. Okay, it's not an ideal, uh, ideal collapsing of the bars, but I think it's got the center of the uh, the center mass on it. Okay, I'm within range. Okay, missile away. Let me pull up the pod and we'll have a look at, at this look at it as this missile goes on in from the pod. And from the window too. If I can find it. There it is. Okay. Seven seconds. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Impact. So there you go. Hey, thanks again for watching everybody. And I will see you next time.